Alucard, your favorite fucking vampire. And we're back again with a game of Would You Rather. And I brought a special guest on the show. I promised, Raditz promised, Louis Hanzo himself promised, that it would be someone in red. Well, we don't disappoint here on this channel. No, sir. We have with us Dante from Devil May Cry. And not that bullshit DMC remake. We only have the good shit on this channel. Say hello to everyone, Dante. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is Dante. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, yes. And remember what we agreed to, Dante. You can keep the sword, but the guns stay outside. And in good faith, I left my guns outside. To be fair, I don't want ours to get mixed up. You know, same colors and all that. Oh, it's okay. Mine have very stylish print written on the side by Walter. Good man. Makes good guns. Maybe after this video, we'll see about him making you something, Dante. What, 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 seriously? Yes, why not? Who knows? Maybe one of these days we can pull yes. the old switcheroo on Integra. Be funny to see how long it takes for them to realize you're not me. <laughs> It'll be funny. Oh, oh boy, that, that would—that sounds, sounds like a lot of fun. No. <laughs> In the meantime, yeah. Man, yeah. I do believe we have a game of Would You Rather to play. And are you familiar with this, Dante? Oh, oh yeah. yes, I am very familiar with this. Good, good. We don't have to explain. Unlike that stupid Ugandan Knuckles. And yes, I had him on my channel. It's okay. I threw out the other chat that he sat in. How are you, how are you still sp how are you, how are you still sane enough, enough to talk? I'm me. I'm a fuck mothering vampire. You know what? You know what? That's, a That's a good answer. Now, let's get things started with a pretty easy question. Would you rather always have bad hair or always have bad teeth? Well, hmm. I mean, I have to keep my fangs good, otherwise I can't get some good blood going. It's, it, 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 it's going to be bad teeth for me. I am, I am not, not sacrificing, sacrificing this hair. Yes, yes. Men like us have to have stylish hair. So, we'll click on always have bad teeth just because you wanted it and you're my guest. Wow, 81% of people would rather have bad hair days. Which I can feel, I mean, you have to keep things like this so perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so disappointed, disappointed in you people. Alright, <laughs> would you rather be Dr. Zoiberg or be Kiff? I'm assuming this is a Futurama question. Huh. That's a, That's good, a good question. question. Well, that's a tough one. I mean, Dr. Zoiberg, well, hmm, he's a crazy Dr. Alien. And then you have Kiff, who seems to be the eternal beta male. You know what? I think I'd rather mm -hmm. be Zoidberg. Because at the end of the day, at least a man can be a badass. I mean, he whipped Fry's ass. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true, true, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta think, think of one thing, thing now. You can't, you can't bang. bang. You bang, you bang once? Game, Game over, over if you're Zoidberg. Hmm, that's a very good point. And Kiff does have a girlfriend, and he does have descendants. So we'll be clicking on Kiff. And 65 people would per percent of people would rather be Zoidberg. Go figure. I mean, to each their own, I guess they don't mind the one shot in dead. Oh, oh my god. god. Well, 
let's move on to the next one then, shall we? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I love this one. If you were Ash from Pokemon, would you rather be stuck with Dawn or be stuck with May? Hmm. Well, is it? That's a tough decision. It's all about your taste. Do you like the girl with the blue hair, or do you like the girl with the brown hair? And mind you, this is if you are Ash, not you, not me, but the kid who's ten years old forever, forever. Huh. I'm gonna have to go with Don. Much better style. Yes, yes. We'll pick that one just because you said it. And 55% of people would rather be stuck with May. Well, to each their own. God damn it! I mean, personally, I prefer May, but then again, I've always been a fan of the Hoenn generation of Pokemon. <laughs> Owen. Owen. <laughs> yes, I just caught your joke. Very well played, Dante. I'm pretty sure that piece of a woman in Tegra wouldn't notice the difference between us. If you had to do one every <laughs> other year, would you rather live completely alone on an island or be overworked in a crump box? Well, I think I would prefer to live completely alone on an island. I mean, I could just sleep or watch Netflix. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, gonna have to go with you on this one, Alucard. I don't know if I could deal with all those assholes all day long. Oh, cool. And 77% of people agree with us. Good work, everyone. You have class and you are smart. Next question. Would you rather slay the dragon or rescue the princess? Well, if I slay the dragon, I get to fight something and kill it. But if I rescue the princess, that means her daddy will give me money. Which means I can have more fun than if I slay the dragon, but I don't get to kill it. Well, Dante, I'll let you choose on this one. Would you rather slay the dragon or rescue the princess? Alright. All right. Since I'm a man of money, I, I gotta see where the profit is. is. So, so, you know what? You know what? In, the long In the long run, probably it's probably better to kill the dragon. dragon. Mm, you got a good point there. I mean, this isn't Monster Hunter, but... Oh, why the hell not? We'll play, we'll select Slay the Dragon. And 47% of people agree with us. Hmm. I mean, I can see where they're coming from. I mean, honestly. You rescue the princess, her daddy will give you money. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. but you always got that jerk, jerk dragon, dragon trying, trying to kill you, you though. <laughs> It's going to be interesting. Would you rather lose an eye and a hand or lose a leg and an ear? Well, I regenerate, so. <laughs> Let's see how you do, Dante. What will it be? Chop off a hand and get stabbed in the eye, or get an ear sliced off and lose your leg? I mean, I know. You know, I, th I think I can work. I think I, think I can work with losing the eye and hand. Leg well, could be a bit complicated. Fair enough. I mean, you're a durable man. I've seen you take a sword through the stomach and get right back up. <sighs> kind of think of it. I don't think I've ever lost my hand before. Well, apparently 66% of people would lose a leg and an ear over their hand and eye. 
Well, you know, to each their own, to each their own. Okay, would you rather go back in time and correct the single biggest mistake of your life? <coughs> DMC. <coughs> Or go way back in time and come up with the Pythagorean theorem before Pythagoras so you can have an equation named after you. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely gonna, gonna fix that one mistake. mistake. Yes, I have to agree with you there. That's for, That's sure. for sure. I mean, that one's a no brainer. And 75% of people agree with us. Smart people. Very smart. You have my respect. As for the 25% of you, my disappointment. Next question. Well, well I guess my faith in humanity is a bit more restored. Would you rather have the ability to see through anything or the ability to get away with theft? <laughs> oh, the things you and I would do with that one, Dante. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, going to have to go with theft, baby. baby. All, All the way. way. Oh, yes. Oh, you want to stop me? Oh, I just stole everything you had. Let's see you stop me then, asshole. Looking at you, Anderson. Looking at you. And, well, 56% of people would rather see through anything. We know where the perverts are. <laughs> Don't worry, people. Me too. We're watching, We're watching you. Alrighty, would you rather know everything in your partner's past, or know nothing from your partner's past? I'm assuming by partner they mean more of the romantic sort, and less of the partner in the sense I have a police girl. Or you have a lady. Uh huh. Well, this, well, this one's, one's complicated, complicated because, because... I mean... I mean I don't, I don't think, think there's, there's technically much of a past, other than, other than being, created being created by Mundus, Mundus so. so... Yes, yes. And I believe my series did already cover the police girl's past, so... You know, we'll select no everything in your partner's past. I mean, it gets covered in our respective series. And 75% of people agree with that. Good for them. Moving right along. Oh, would you rather not be able to talk or not be able to walk? I mean, if I'm not able to talk, we, I wouldn't be able to do these videos. I mean, if I'm not able to walk, then... Well, I do have Walter. I'm pretty sure he would bring me things. I mean, you're kind of screwed either way. <laughs> so, what really? I mean, I, 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 I do, I do got a cool motorcycle, motorcycle, so I guess that could work. could work. Yes, but you need to use your legs to be able to do that. Shit. Shit. Yeah. Screw, yeah. Screw, screw, screw that. that. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose my voice. I mean, we'll lose the ability to hear you crack wise on them demons, but we'll select it. And 54% of people rather agree with you. But, you know, while we're on the topic of our partners, you know, we should do a swap. I'll let you borrow the police girl if you let me borrow the lady. See how we do. Make a show out of it. I can already see the ratings. <laughs> so what do you say, Dante? You know what? You, know what? you have a deal. <laughs> you hear that, people? We're gonna have fun with this one. Okay, this one's just kind of superfluous, really. But would you rather only dance the Charleston or only dance the Macarena? I don't really dance at all, so this one's on you, Dante. <sighs> Alright, well, I want to get you spicy with the fresh 90s memes, so we're going Macarena. Alright, you heard the Devil Slayer. 
I'm 58% of people who would rather get down with the Macarena. Good for them. I say we wrap this one up with the next question. What do you say? All right. All right. All right. Let's, All right, let's get, get it done. All righty. Here we go. Oh, this one's good. This one is beautifully good. Either way, they're screwed. But would you rather be hunted by Jack Bauer of 24? Or be hunted by Jason Bourne of the Bourne series. I mean, they're screwed either way, but still. You know, you know what? what? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Bourne. He's uh. He's not quite the problem that Jack would be. Well. Jason Bourne would just come at you by himself. Jack Bauer would get the fucking entire planet involved. And I do enjoy my privacy and my peace. So we'll select Jason Bourne. And it looks like the website is trying to determine who's correct. And 56% of people would rather be hunted by Jason Bourne. Well, well, in any case, then, that has been quite the party, as you would say. So, Dante, is there anything else you have to say before I have you escorted off the property by Walter? All right. All right. So, so meet, me, meet tomorrow me tomorrow at 3. At three. We'll get this, we'll thing, get this done. thing done. Alright everyone, this is Louis Hanzo here, and today the voice of Dante was provided by Spinch. Say hello there everyone, Spinch. Hey guys, hey guys what's up? Spinch, Spinch here. here. Yeah, Spinch will actually be joining me on this channel, so look forward to seeing more content involving him and myself. He does some pretty good Dante, and some more stuff's down the pipe, just to keep you on your toes. And look forward to another video featuring Solar Mancer and myself with a game of Witchy Rider. Who's on the chopping block? Good question. Find out next time. And I did have that mention of the convention. In March, roughly the 16th I do believe, I, alongside Cyrus Lightshard of Quadro Digital Entertainment, will be at NakaCon in Kansas City, Missouri. There we'll be doing video logs and interviewing cosplayers. So, please look forward to that. And if you happen to be attending this convention, we will see you there and feel free to come up and say hello to us. Anything else you want to add, Spinch? Well, <laughs> definitely, looking definitely looking forward to doing videos. some more videos. That's for sure. sure. Alrighty. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed the video and what we did here today, please drop a like, subscribe, share this video around, show us some love. And you see that bell notification icon? Well, we both want you to hit that thing with a jackpot shot from your twin pistols. That way you'll be alerted when we do a video. And with that, good night, good luck, and we will see you all next time.